Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're taking a look at something actually some of you may be interested in, and that is, do you actually need to replace the battery on your laptop? Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so possibly you've got a laptop, uh, maybe a brand new one, or maybe it's a second hand one, or potentially you're thinking of either buying or selling a used one. How do you know if the battery is actually any good? Now, obviously you can ask the seller, is the battery okay? How long does it last for? And they can give you an answer, which may or may not be entirely truthful. But there is one way you can actually find out. You can actually create a battery health report from actually within your Windows operating system, which will tell you exactly the status of your battery, approximately how long it's likely to last for, and approximately how much wear and tear has been given to it. So let's take a look at this actual program on the computer now, and you can see how you can create this report for yourself. Okay, so this is the laptop. Do apologize for the uh, screen recording. It's pretty poor quality, but you'll get the general idea. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is click on the start menu, and we wanna use the command prompts. Now you can use PowerShell and all those kinds of things if you want to. You don't have to have administrator privileges for this. So just go over to the start menu, type in CMD, and you can run the command prompt. So there's a relatively simple, straightforward command, which we can run from the command line. And that is power CFG and a space forward slash battery report. That's all. And then just press enter. Once it's done that, it will say the battery life report has been saved to the file path, which is essentially going to save it into your user profile. So you go to the C drive users surface, which is the name of the username and there is going to be an HTML file called batteryreport.html. Okay, so I've moved over the battery report. As you can see, there is a huge icon for it there. So it is actually an HTML document. You can open this in Chrome Edge or your default browser. Double click on it, and this is the battery report. So first of all, it tells you things like your computer name. So this was run on our Surface Pro 3. Uh, product name, obviously Microsoft Corporation, Surface Pro 3, etc. BIOS versions, got lots of information there. Type of device, is a slate device and also it's got the installed batteries. So if for some reason you want to replace the battery on your unit, then you can get the information from here. So it tells you the name, the manufacturer, the type, serial number, chemistry, etc. And also, which is actually particularly important on this particular instance, is the design capacity. So design capacity is basically what the battery is designed to be able to hold in terms of power in milliwatts per hour. That is what it should be from the factory. Now, as you can see, the full charge capacity, as it stands at the moment, has been reduced slightly to 39,026 milliwatts per hour. Cycle count is basically when the battery gets to 100%, so that is either from a flat battery entirely up to 100%, or from anywhere from 50% up to 100 So it's had almost 100 full cycles, and obviously with certain battery chemistries, such as lithium ion, there are a limited amount of cycles that a battery will actually do before it starts losing health. And as you can see here, even though this particular unit is in the region of about five or six years old now, possibly even more, it hasn't actually deteriorated a great deal. Now, obviously, if you want to, if you want to be completely anal about it, you can go in and actually work out what the percentage is of that. Or alternately, you can go down and look at your recent usages, all that kind of stuff, battery usage over the last three days. And as you can see, this unit hasn't been powered on. It doesn't see a lot of use these days. so. There's no usage, so this is also good if you want to get a good idea of what your battery life is like currently. You can just let it run from a full battery to completely discharge, and this will give you the exact amount of battery usage you can get. So you can provide this to somebody if they're buying or selling a laptop. Also, we've got our usage history, and you can see how long the activity times is and all that kind of stuff. It gives you a lot of information here. Again, this is a part here where this is going to give you a good idea of how well your battery is actually faring. So this is the battery capacity history. Now, as you can see, the design capacity is still the same, and we can see our full charge capacity is slowly but surely is diminishing. Now, it's not a huge amount, as you can see from this bottom one here up to the top there. It's a very slight one, but obviously it will increase, and depending how long you've had Windows installed on your device and how often you use it, etc., etc., this is going to change dramatically. Also, as well, this is a really good thing. So if somebody says, well, how long is the battery likely to last? So this is gonna give you some kind of idea in, in this section here, 
So this is battery life estimates based on observed drains. So you can get a lot of information there. This information for us obviously is not entirely good because generally we use it on mains, don't use it on battery. But for you, you may find there's gonna be a lot more information on here. As you can see already, the kind of the overall thing at the end. So at design capacity, we should be getting about four and a half hours of use out of this device. But since the OS was installed, we're looking at somewhere around about four and a quarter hours. So again, this is actually a really useful thing if someone's buying a laptop off you and you wanna tell them how long the battery lasts on average or what the health is like of the battery. Or basically, if you're trying to sell a device and you think, do I need to replace the battery? You can look at these capacities and think to yourself, well, yeah, it is time for a new battery. That is why my battery is running down so quickly. So there you go, nice easy way of finding out the health of your battery. Now, there are obviously, there are other ways you can go into Windows. There's other sections which will give you a rough idea of your battery usage, etc. And other programs such as CPU-Z and hardware monitor, which will also display those kinds of things. But I think for a lot of people, this is actually going to be really handy. You don't have to install anything. Just remember the command, type it in, and it will give you a pretty rough idea of what your battery capacity is like and how long it's likely to last in the future. And again, if you're selling a laptop, this is going to be invaluable. You could actually print off that page if you want to provide it with the laptop and say well this is as i've sold it to you then if there's any problems in a week month whatever time they turn around and say well the battery's not holding a charge we can say well when i sold it to you it was in this condition now it's in this condition so clearly you're doing something wrong or there is a fault somewhere so anyway let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below but for now i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and how to and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video thanks for watching